Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video I'll show you how to make an escape room game on Scratch like this one and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So for this game there's going to be a door with a four digit code and a keyhole and the user will have to try and find a key hidden in the room and also solve two puzzles to find what that code is and then once that's done the game is complete. So let's create our backdrop. So Go here and we need to convert to bitmap mode. I'm just going to choose a blue backdrop for this room, something like that. And then we need to choose our fill for the floor of the room, something like this. Perfect. So that's our room complete. And now we need to create our sprite. Let's create a door sprite very quickly. So I'm just going to change the color of this door to make it stand out. Draw a rectangle like that. Let's add our keyhole. This is going to be where the key goes in when the game is complete. And that's perfect. I don't want that one. So let's delete that. And then now we need to drag it. So it's on this corner over here. Perfect. So that's our door complete. And now what we need to do is create our combination for the door. So this is going to be four digits. So the way we do this is... We need to add some text, so this is going to be zero. So zero for the first digit, and then we need to make that a bit bigger so we can actually see it. We need to add a rectangle around it. So something like this, make it a bit thicker maybe. Perfect, so that's the very, very first um, digit complete. And then what we need to do now is we need to actually duplicate this so then we have a digit for one so there we go and then duplicate again make one for two and we need to keep going until we reach the number nine okay so that is one digit complete of the combination now we need to drag it to a suitable position on the stage so i'm just going to put it let's say here i need to duplicate this so we have um, three more but before I do that I'm just going to add some code very quickly so when green flag is clicked we obviously need to show we need to go to this position that we're at currently which is that and then we need to set the costume so it's the first digit so costume one and then when the sprite is clicked we need to go to the next costume this block and then we need to duplicate it and then I'm just going to change this position by let's say value 40 then do it again and then do it one more time perfect and that is our four digits complete like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to add our puzzles so let's create our first puzzle and this is going to be a painting let's create a fill for this painting and I want an outline for it simple rectangle something like this and then I am going to add some dots to the painting. So this is going to be basically the clue to the code of the painting. The painting is going to have its own two digit code. I'm going to add let's say four dots on this side. And then let's change the colour. I'm going to add let's say six dots on this side. Perfect. And then I need to duplicate this. And this is going to be what happens when the user guesses that painting code correctly. We need to do this and then let's change the color of the fill and then I'll say the first two digits of the code or we'll say first digit is one, the second digit is seven and then we don't know the other two digits because that's in the other puzzle. So something like that. When that's clicked on then we have the text and then we need to drag that to the top corner of the screen like over here that is going to be our painting very quickly let's add some code so when green flag clicked we obviously need to show and then we need to switch this costume so it's the very first costume wait until condition and we'll just leave that black for now we'll come back to it and then we'll go to next costume we need to create um, the code for this painting so we're going to duplicate these two sprites so we duplicate this one and we'll duplicate this one and i need to drag these so they're at the correct position something like that and then i need to change this block of the code 
once we do that then we need to go back to the painting and then we need to do our condition so this basically sees if these two um digits are um, basically the correct one so this this one must be equal to four and this one must be equal to six it checks if these two um, costumes are correct and if they are correct then this costume will change we need a and condition because both sides need to be true and then we need to get an equals and we get this block we need to change this to be sprite 7 and then change this to be costume number so if costume number of sprite 7 is equal to 5 and then duplicate this again and then if the costume number of sprite 8 is equal to 7 so like that and then we switch to the next costume so that's one of our puzzles now complete so i'm going to create another puzzle very quickly we need this um, paint and then we don't need a fill for this but we need a black outline and i'm going to create a clock and the hands of the clock will basically tell us what the code is for the two digits something like that and then we need to add our hands of the clock so i'm going to do this um, let's make this let's say half past one so something like that so the code is basically one and then six so that's going to be 16 is the code for the clock and then we need to um, ideally uh, duplicate this code so when green flag click then we need to show set the costume as well we need to change the position so it's more below the painting like over here and then we need to do wait until condition go to the next costume and then we can't do this condition yet because we need to still duplicate these sprites so we, we need, we're going to duplicate them very quickly and i think it helps if you rename your sprites because it's, it's quite messy the way i'm doing it but i'm just a bit rushed for time to get this whole room done so that's why i'm just not renaming the sprites as i go we need to wait until and then we need of course the same and condition we need to wait until this the costume number of sprite 10 is equal to 2 so costume number of sprite 10 so that needs to be equal to 2 and then also the costume number of sprite 11 that needs to be equal to 7 something like that perfect and I need to put that in, probably drag this over and that is our second puzzle complete. So we're going to do the key now, I just forgot we need to change this, so this is the correct Y coordinate, so we'll change these very quickly and this key is basically going to be hidden behind a series of objects and the user needs to drag away those objects so we can find the key. So let's create our key first of all. I'm just going to do a very very easy version of key, you can make yours look way nicer than the one I'm doing. So this is going to look something like this, it's a really bad key but it will do. And then what we need to do is then we need to hide that behind a series of objects. So we'll just leave that um, over here, we're going to create a, a new object, I'm just, let's say I actually create maybe a book. It's going to be very difficult for me to draw a book, but I will try my best. I need a fill for that or it's not going to work. Okay, and then let's maybe add a line that needs to be black. Something like that. It's a very bad book, but it will have to do. That can be in front of the key like this. Then that's it hidden. So um, when going by clicked, we obviously need this to go to that position over here and then we that needs to go to the very very front there so go to the front there like that we need to set the drag mode so it's draggable so that means we can drag it around because we do need to drag it around or we can't get to the key so we need to drag it away that's basically everything for that and then we go into the key we need to set the position um, then we also need to set the drag mode to draggable like that we need to create another book just in case to make it a bit harder 
and we'll put that that's like here as well I want to change the color of this book so let's do that very quickly there we go that's our two books in the way and now that's basically all we need to do is just drag those away and then we get to the key that's basically all the puzzles I'm doing right now I al almost forgot as well we need to actually add a second costume to this clock I nearly forgot to do that so we'll delete this and we'll say the second and uh, the last two digits of that code or we need to um, we don't know the first two because you're expected to do the above puzzle and then we'll say it's a zero and eight so that full code over there is um, I think it's 1708 now just double check yeah 1708 so that's basically that complete and now what we need to do is we need to actually create the code that opens the door so let's go into our door um, we will create a, another costume and this is going to be the door opened so I'm just not going to do that I'm just going to do a text saying you win instead um, so let's just do that perfect now what we need to do is we need to do some code here so when we I clicked um, we need to switch the costume to the first one we need to wait until and this is going to be a very 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 long condition so we need to wait until we'll do the separate conditions first then we'll put them all together so we need to wait until the costume the costume number of the sprite 2 is equal to 2 so that's going to be basically that is equal to the digit 1 so like that duplicate that the costume of sprite 3 is equal to that needs to be 8 and then we duplicate again and do that for sprite 4 that needs to be at 1 and then duplicate that again and for sprite 5 that needs to be at I think it's 9 and then we need one more condition and it needs to be touching the key now the key needs to be touch no the key needs to be touching it but it needs to be touching the keyhole so so we might we might actually do that in the key actually it might be easier so we need to wait until that is touching the keyhole so we'll just leave that blank for now um we'll create a variable maybe and let's say let's say call this um condition if that condition is equal to true which we can set through the key then the door can open so that's probably an easier way to do it variable condition must be equal to true like that and then we need an and for all of these so we need to just keep dragging ands so this needs to go here this needs to go in another and and you can see how long this condition is it's very 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 long so we keep dragging it that's the last one i think there we go so that's our big big long condition and then when that's true then we can switch to the next costume like that perfect that's exactly what we want let's go into our key we need to wait until it's touching the keyhole so let's just switch this costume very quickly and a, a quick tip you can use if you want to select the correct color is go into here select, select this and then choose the required color like that and then you can do that perfect and then we need to set the drag mode so you can't drag it it's locked into that key and um, that um, place so you can't take the key out and then we need to set this condition to be true and then when um, the green file is clicked we want to set it to be false because we don't want it to be true immediately when it isn't so that's our condition set to false okay I think that's basically all the code I need at the minute um, one thing is I'm probably going to move these digits over a bit so let's just let's just maybe add 30 on to each of these values so I'm gonna add 30 on to each one because the text is in the way so that's why I'm just gonna add 30 to each of these x values and that is our game complete so I'm going to give a quick test run if there's anything we can fix we will do that let's just do this very quickly the painting let's say this is equal to 46 
there we go. So the first two digits are one seven and we don't know, so now we can change these. Perfect. And then we have our second clue, which is the clock. So that looks like half past one, so this is going to be 16. There we go. The last two digits are um, zero and eight. So that's already at zero. This needs to be set at eight. And the door should be opening, but it isn't because we need the key. So um, the key is hidden under these books, so we'll drag the books away. We can drag the key, touching this, and then it says you win. That is our escape room complete. And it is very, very basic. You can make yours look way better than mine. Maybe add more puzzles if you want. And definitely make all these sprites disappear instead of just handing the door saying you win and keeping everything on screen. Just make all the sprites disappear, but I don't have the time to do that. You can maybe, um, even if you want to, you can add two keys if you want, so you can make it almost like a hide and seek game as well. You have to find two keys instead of one, that's going to make it twice as challenging. Um, there's lots of ideas for this game as well. You can just um, maybe do some research on different escape room games online and you can try and take some ideas from them. But that's going to be it for today's video of the Scratch Coding Glass. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.